This building over here is the Oliphant Building and that used to house the Department of Theoretical Physics and also the Department of Engineering Physics which operated in the basement. Okay, so this room here um, is very, very significant in the history of computing at ANU. It used to house the IBM 1620, which arrived in early January in 1962. And it was ANU's first stored program computer. And it was managed by uh, Dr. Brian Robson from the Theoretical Physics Department. The world's first computer was Colossus, built in 1943 by Thomas Flowers at Bletchley Park. And the professor, Kenneth Lakuta, the foundation professor of theoretical physics, had worked there. He'd been sort of conscripted and he worked there from 42 to 45, trying to solve the problem of the Enigma code of the German submarines. When he came to Australia, he tried to get some money to lease a, a computer for the Department of Theoretical Physics. He realised how important these things were. I didn't come here until 1960, which was four years later. I had done my postgraduate work at Melbourne University between 1955 and 1960. And during that time, the first computer in Australia, which was called CIRAC, was built by Trevor Piercy and Marston Beard in uh, CSIRO. Then, as my understanding is, the powers that be in CSIRO decided that they didn't need any more computers, which is a very strange reaction to these things. Anyway, what happened was, it, in 1956, it was removed from wherever they'd built it to the Melbourne University. They gave it to Melbourne University and I came in contact with it in, and I used it extensively between 1956 and 1960 when I did my master's degree and doctoral degrees in Melbourne. I think that Lakuta, he wanted somebody to look after this machine. He didn't want to have to do it himself. And I was a good candidate for that. We started off with two operators uh, one was male and one was female, but that, after that all the programmers that we hired were female. And we always paid the full fees for these people. The IBM 1620 was upgraded about halfway through the four years that I looked after it, but it became quite clear, I mean, it, it was overloaded all the time. We made a policy that anybody in the ANU could use it if they had a good case. It wasn't just the Department of Theoretical Physics. It was mostly this school and also Stromlo, who was part of the Research School of Physical Sciences in those days. And so a committee was set up in 1964 with Trevor Swan, who was a famous economist in the ANU, and myself, and a fellow from nuclear physics. With the limited amount of money available, we found that the best policy was to get another IBM machine, a 360 Model 50. They decided that they would set up a computer center. My own personal feelings, I didn't want to be part of it. I wanted to remain a theoretical physicist. And I always saw these machines as tools for doing my work rather than the tools in their own right, which of course they are.